British champion and always with a smile. <laughs> that little teddy bear I was saying to Jess the other day, getting to Reggie, is that going to be the same for oh, Milo? Yeah. Milo will be having this one uh, when I get back. I mean, he's got a slightly psychotic face, hasn't he? He's slightly <laughs> worried enough, but uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't not, scare him. Not the drooling face then, I saw <laughs> no, on Instagram yeah, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was 10 minutes of, of blowing raspberries at each other, which was always good fun. It's it's good always connection. Good to, yeah. yeah, good to interact that way. Um, but no, it is, it's amazing. They say that it's always good to, to win something like the British title. But I'm not happy with, with my performance at all today. Um, it was just one of those days I think I just woke up not feeling it. And that's that's something that every Tom Dick and Harry has in their, in their normal life. Is, today, is that different though through fatherhood? Is that obviously. No. Is you, do you see it like a different way you speak to Milo in the morning? You kind of take your way, focus away from the track. Is no, it anything I think, like that? I think if it, no, if anything, having him there actually helps, helps me okay. because I, obviously I, I want to do well for him and I want him, once he's old enough to understand what's going on, to be really proud and come and see and support everybody else. So from that point of view, I've got a real reason to do well. So in actual fact, having him is great. But as I say, like, like most normal people, some days you just wake up and don't feel great. And I tell you what, if I could have pushed that competition back three or four hours, it probably would have been a bit better. Yeah. But today it wasn't really happening and, and I had to dig deep to, to get that distance out and 8 11 is nothing special, but I got the win and, and that's great. You seem to be enjoying life. I've, I've been interviewing you for the last two, three years and obviously there's a lot of pressure if you've been the Olympic champion, you walk through here, but it seems like you've got a different spring in your step and is that all just down to fatherhood? What is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think I'm just super happy and, and everything's... Everything's great, and, and having him there is, is the greatest thing in the world for my life. Um, and I tell you what, it doesn't take folks away, but what it does do is when I get to go home to him, it doesn't matter about the jumping side of things, and that's what you need. All athletes and all sports people, and actually everybody in, in every walk of life needs to be able to just go home and switch off. With him, I do that because he's not understood that I've got to jump today or whatever else. He just wants to bounce and smile and have fun, and that's what is important to me. Making sure he's happy, he's supported, and everything else. So by me doing well, I know I can continue with that. So and, and what impact does Susie have in your life as well? How, how helpful is she in time? Like oh, this, yeah, right. Obviously she's brilliant. I, again, a fantastic mother and, and brilliant for me. Like, we have so much fun and I think that's hugely important. I'm just, just really happy. Good, <laughs> and I think that, that, that's, that's a good place to be. And I think, as I say, in any walk of life, not just athletics, you're happy to help so much. I know you're still young, but I just want to ask, what, what would you do outside of athletics? Well, obviously you've said about the Bob say and stuff. Is there anything else that you ever consider? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'd be keen to know if there were other sports that I could try, but I mean, probably something away from sports. To be totally honest, I, I still love the idea of doing some form of history based thing or something like that if I could. So maybe once I've retired, I can go and present the show doing that. Nice. And, fi and finally, as a uh, United fan as well, yeah. who's the summer transfer target? Who would you want? One, one person, Greg Rover, come on. Oh, it's Harry real... Cantona back in the year. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen the King back. That would be great. <laughs> His advert the other day was yeah. absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Um, no. It's a tough one. Defensively, we have to improve. Like, I mean, Ramos, the Ramos stuff. If this happens, it'd be good. And he got a lot of India. I mean, he's a great defender as well. Bring them both in. I think we'd be pretty happy with that. Um, but interestingly, if the Van Persie stuff is, is true as well, we'd be quite thin on the ground up front. So I don't know. And still, centre midfield, you can't rely on Carrick because he's getting older and going to get injured. So. There's still a few, I think three or four at least, need to come in. Um, and who knows what's going to happen with Dick Hare. Like, that's pretty worrying to me. <laughs> so there's a few, few issues. There's not just one. I think there are a few that need to come in. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, mate. Love Cheers. It. Cheers, pal.